funniest story y'all have that came out of the shooting for this movie? Because I, I understand there's a documentary that, that, that's been made. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, yeah, we, I, I thought if we make a documentary, because people say, what is it like to direct a movie and be in it? And it's, it's pretty unusual, and, and especially in an action film. And I wanted to do it because I didn't know how many films I have left in me or whatever will happen. So. This one here is a documentary which I'm really proud of, and it's shot in a very crude fashion, kind of the way I wanted it to be, like it wasn't manicured or thought out. And we would catch what it's like to actually make an action film and all the craziness that goes along with it and the injuries and one thing after another. And what, <laughs> what kept going on is the constant visits to the hospital until you know all the doctors and nurses by, hey, good to see you again, Marge. Well, hi, Linda, great. Got the scalpel already, right? got the needle ready. So literally it was an ongoing, joke that we just this constant kind of like caravan to the hospital and in, in the film the documentary harry of course is one of the stars of the documentary thank you very much he sat through about 125 degree heat remember that building it was unbelievable i believe you had me watching your dogs for uh, a I bit guess. Time on set. <laughs> it wasn't a very big dog but he did it anyway thank you <laughs> it was great but he did he, he persevered and he saw how the whole creative process goes down and it, it, it just really, the I, I don't know if there was actually any crazy things other than just uh, Randy kind of cackling every time he broke somebody in half. That's kind of like the real humor. He enjoyed this really tremendously, really. Every stuntman was so afraid of him after a while. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Everyone got like very high, kind of like feminine voices, leave me alone. <laughs> they started at 250 pounds, and they started going, leave me alone. Well, that's why you shot in Brazil, because you can actually hurt people there, you right? Can, you can kill people and blow the country up and say, thank you, <laughs> here, and take a monkey home. Thank you. It's great. Now, speaking of that, what was it like shooting in Brazil? Because, I mean, I kept seeing all this footage that kept showing up on YouTube of, like, it looked like throngs of people, and like this audience every day yeah. when y'all were showing up. Did that cause any problems? What was that like for each of y'all? Yeah, one time we had, <laughs> had uh, for a scene we were shot in, in town where Steve pulls up with all these huge MMA fighters that are playing Brazilian soldiers, or the island of Bolina soldiers. We have 70 bodyguards, seven, seven oh, to just keep the people back because the areas are so dangerous that on the way through the set, you would, you would see carjackings, robberies. Uh, it, was, it was a rough joint. I mean, half the crew that worked for us at Moonlight as basically, you know, heavy duty cops that, you know, they show up and on their t-shirts, a skull and crossbone with a bleeding dagger. That's their insignia. Like, imagine an LA cop have a skull and crossbone. But that's what they did. And it was, it was hard, hardcore. It was, it was a, it, Brazil's a, a really fascinating place. It's, it's, it's a country of true extremes. But we couldn't have pulled off what we did to just literally blow up huge amounts of real estate. It was great. I loved it. Like, everyone bring their Wheaties and hot dogs. We're like, we're having a party today. We're going to barbecue this entire village. And they're going to love it. Any, anybody else have an experience from Brazil for us? No? Okay, let's go on to the next thing. Um, okay, let's take some questions from the audience. That's right. Let's see, who do we have over there? Hi, I have a comment for Randy and a question for Dolph. Uh, Randy, James Stoney's been talking a lot of stuff about ground game and wrestlers in general. I just want to say, I uh, hope you take them down, knock them out, and uh, good luck. We will do that. All right, good. And Dolph, uh, I just wanted to know if you had a uh, Drago Balboa rematch in the movie. Uh, well, there's there's like a confrontation because uh, Sly plays my boss, you know. Well, he was my boss in the movie. He plays it on film as well, and my character is a bit edgy. He's seen too many battles, a little too uh, bloodthirsty, and a little too extreme. And uh, Stallone, slide decides to get rid of me, which I don't really appreciate too much. 
so I get a little bit mad, and uh, well, one thing leads to another, and it kind of has an interesting twist oh, uh, yeah. to our relationship, right? So it's, uh, that was why I like the I had to chill him out. <laughs> Forcefully. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, man. Okay, next question. This is for Stallone. Uh, when you weren't filming, were there any like uh, arm wrestling matches or any competition going on between the actors? Oh, well, let me put it this way. I beat my hairdresser, the makeup man, <laughs> and my three-year-old. No, I'm kind of like, let, it, let me tell you the truth. I hate that sport because I'm so bad at it. I mean, that, Jesus Christ, that's a sport where you're going to just get your hands smashed through the table. So I said, after that movie, I sort of retired. But you know what? Now that you brought it up, I think, come on. Kitty. <laughs> Joke. Joke, Steve. Humor. Uh, Sly. He broke your neck. Why do you want to get in an arm wrestling match with him? Humor. You're not really holding a grudge. I don't know. Hell with this bullshit. <laughs> Over here. Yeah, I got a comment for Randy and a question for Stallone. Um, Randy, uh, I hope you ground and pound James Tony and smash his face and make him your bitch. <laughs> and uh, for Stallone, I saw you do a real nice arm bar. Did Randy help with the arm bar? Any guillotine tips or anything like that? Well, I'll answer mine first because I know Randy wants to get really bloodthirsty with his answer. Yeah, he did. He, he made it very authentic. I just wanted to touch on a little bit of the modern or the new kind of fighting, which would be arm bars, but I didn't want to go like he was a real MMA specialist. Just a little technique like these guys have taught each other. But Randy applied the real technique with his battle with Steve. So, on to you and James Tony. He's kind of shy. You and James Tony. James does all the talking. It doesn't matter. I don't need to say anything. None of that matters. On fight night, on the day, he's still the one that's got to walk up in that cage. <laughs> now, there's the Punisher. Like I, I talked to uh, Van Damme, I talked to Segal, I talked to uh, Chuck Norris. And, you know, and, you know, there's availabilities and there's other things, that extenuating circumstances like insanity that prevents things like that from happening. But other than that, you know, I, I reach out, I try. <laughs> 